Jag vill alltid ha Optimus. Optimus är bäst. Får jag ge dig en kram då? Today we're not taking Optimus. We're driving the good old bet here, va? Mr. Seat. Ude manual, can I say? Every single time I go back to drive this car, it feels incredibly strange because Optimus is a automatic and this one is a stick shift. Sometimes you forget it and then you just lean back and then you get engine stop. I don't know what you call it. Shattering stop, so we for it then. If I can't say it. But I do have some history with this car. I uh, went to Norway with it back in 2018 and 2019 to vlog all on my own because I thought I was a badass YouTuber that was going to make a cinematic Norway trip. It was incredibly fun though. Uh, however, no four wheel drive, front wheel driving. We're gonna see how today goes. Whoa! Oj, 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 oj. Kaffet, vet du, får man spilla ut. Just finished up the lunch and uh, see if I can power edit through yesterday's vlog. I don't have much time today because we got more things that we gotta do. Would you look at that? Uh, vlog is going to be four minutes. I edited this vlog in under 30 minutes. I think a new record, but. <laughs> I think that vlogs can be, you know, short. They don't have to be super long. It's just documentation of the day. Definitely, definitely helps me to challenge my own, uh, not creativeness, I wouldn't say, but my own routines. And I like that. Oh, I know something that I need. I think that this is where I put it. Yep. This is gonna make it easier to find the outlets in the drywall. What do you do, Fresen, though? Do we have any wise words? Yes. It's not very good when you lose your temper, but keep up the way other way. Nu kan folk tro att du inte har några tänder. Explain to the audience what the snus is. If it looks that I have no teeth, it's the Swedish snus I have under my lip. And what is snus? Snus is a form of tobacco and we use it very much here. I use to snusa. Do not snus. It's not good at all. It's very good. <laughs> So before heading down to the property, there's a couple of things that I need to do. And uh, one of them is related to um, Tricharge and Prime Gear, I guess you can say. We got some exciting times ahead of us, that's for sure. So I'm standing in there waiting for over half an hour just to talk to someone. And they tell me, we can't help you, you gotta do it online. And then after that, it's gonna be two weeks and then you might get an answer from us. I'm trying to start up a different company because I have something that I am working on together with a friend. By doing so, you need to have a bank account and also a bank contact that has approved the company in some way or form. Oh, there's so much bureaucratic stuff that you need to go through before you can actually start something. I did go to the bank where I had three different companies in to make sure that it went smooth, but apparently they want me to open my uh, new company on a different bank. Sucks, right? Anyway, off to the property. So before we go into the garage, I actually want to show you something here. <laughs> ah, take a look at this. So strange seeing every step of the process go with the house and being able to see it actually take shape like this. It's been such a cool thing to experience in a way. And it's all because of you. Because without you, I wouldn't be able to make this for a living. And I think that, that that's why I want to show you, you know? Sunset, do you see it setting over there? Yes! It's gonna be just outside. You're gonna have the TV over here. This is gonna be the kitchen over here. It's gonna be the master bedroom. Huh? Walk-in closet. 
and then we got this tiny little uh, Scott glug bunker uh, window, as we can say. I don't need to explain everything because I will show you. You can see here we have this blue cable is prepared Ethernet outlet for all the power over Ethernet units that I'm going to have in the house. So everything is already drawn in the walls, in the ceiling, and hidden. We're gonna have the most high-tech house on the Northern Hemisphere. Something that I do like is when uh, people are doing a really good job. The electrician that I had here, his name is Carl, and he works for a company that did the electric uh, electricity in the house as well. But take a look at the work, like all these cables very neatly laid out. It just looks so freaking satisfying when everything goes down and looks like this. Here we have all the ethernet cables and this is all the electricity. Carl, nice job. There's been a lot of YouTubers quitting lately. And I was just watching MKBHD and his video about people getting burnt out. And I, it's a great video. I'm going to link it down below so you can head over there and check it out. But it seems like there's some sort of fatigue amongst creators that has been doing this for a long time. And I mean, like looking at myself, I've been doing this full time for four and a half years. So I can't say that I'm like, you know, the OG YouTuber dude, but I have been around and I know the grind that you need to put in, in order to be able to have a successful YouTube channel and successful business. And there has been a lot of you saying, you know, Peter, you look tired, you should take some rest and, you know, you, you look burnt out. Honestly, I'm not. I feel very, very motivated to keep this up. And I'm also very hyped about everything that is about to come. I have a lot of plans for both my business, but also this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. And I do know the feeling of being burnt out because when I jumped on the YouTube hustle back in 2020, that was my burnout feeling. Like I, I, I went so hard that I, I didn't know how to continue. But ever since I started my LLC and hired an accountant that helps me with that, I have been able to put my focus elsewhere. I can focus on making things that I want. I can bring my ideas to life. I can spend time with friends. And once this thing that we're standing in right here is complete, I'm also going to be able to spend more time with my family. I'm gonna be able to take more breaks. I'm going to be able to enjoy the time in my own garage and my own house and just have fun with making videos. And that is where this channel is very important to me, as I stated in one of my previous videos. Like, I love making vlogs. One of the reasons that I started YouTube was because I was making vlogs. Like, I, I, I wanted to learn how to document my process and talk to the camera was something that I could not do back in the day. It is so cool to see the development that this has made. But there has also been incredible amounts of time with my family that I have had to sacrifice in order to get here. If I could do something different, then I would probably work less than what I did. But now I can reap my reward and make videos for the sake of making videos and have fun with all the content and stuff that I do and bring you along on the journey. And something that I really want to bring back when it comes to making YouTube videos is the fact that you want to make videos for making videos. Not that you have to make a video on a product in order to make a YouTube video. If you're watching this right now and you want to start a YouTube channel and you're feeling that you don't have enough gear to talk about in your future videos or that you need to buy something new in order to make a video on that, it's like, just don't. Just make the videos for fun. Document your life. You're unique enough as it is and have fun making the videos because the more fun that you have making the videos, the better the videos are going to be.